Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic progress bar that overlays on top of an image in Glide. So for example here you see that I have two topics. Each of these topics contains 10 flashcards to practice. And here you see that I have 9 out of 10 completed on the top and 2 out of 10 completed at the bottom, so 90% and 20%. And you see that on the image here there is a progress bar that indicates the 90% and the 20% as an overlay on top of that card image. So here's how I go about creating that. So uh, the first thing you have to do is set up a Cloudinary account and uh, determine what size you want your cards to be. So I've decided I want mine to be a three to one ratio over here. And so I have in my Cloudinary URL this ratio as well, as we'll take a look in just a second. The second thing we'll need is another graphic and this graphic should just be an empty white graphic, a PNG, that should be the same width as what you choose to have your image width be. Now, using Cloudinary, I'm forcing this image, no matter what the original size of it was, I'm forcing it to 900 pixels. And I'll show you where that's at in the URL in just a second. Why that's important is because my progress bar image um, also needs to be that same width, 900 pixels. So I created in um, just a photo editor, you can use anyone that you want, I use Google Drawings even. Uh, you create a 900 by 900 square. I filled it in with white and then I uploaded it to Cloudinary. And you'll see that the URL for that in just a second is, um, is a, a square image. All right, so let's take a look at the URL for this image here. So my Cloudinary URL is https colon forward slash forward slash res.cloudinary.com forward slash then your Cloudinary account. I'm asking mine for now forward slash image forward slash fetch. Then here you see a bunch of parameters I'll talk about in just a second. And then the actual image of the, of the, um, the image URL of your card. So this JPEG here is this fruit JPEG that you see here. Okay, so if I were to ignore all of these parameters in between and just have this much the image to fetch and then the image, it would be the same thing as if I were just putting in this image, um, except that I'm passing it through Cloudinary. And because I'm fetching this image and passing it through Cloudinary, now I can manipulate it using these parameters here. All right, so what are these parameters? The first thing I have is a C fill. This stands for crop fill. And this parameter is basically taking this image and no matter the dimensions of this image, I am now going to um, fill up a container with this image. So even if this is like a thousand by a thousand, right? It's going to just fill up a, sp a specific container that I'm setting as the width being 900 and the height being 300. So basically I'm creating a fill box here, a, three a 900 by 300 fill box. And this image is gonna fill up that box. All right, so um, you can actually choose whatever you'd like here for this width and height. Um, I found that widths of over 500 uh, work best for Glide. And so um, I use 900 and 300 just because it's an easy three to one ratio, right? So back in my app again, you see that this is a three to one image shape. So if I instead wanted to have cards that were three by two, right? then instead I would say width 300 by height 600 because that'd be my three to two ratio. So the next thing you have to do is put the uh, progress bar on it and that's called an overlay and you set an overlay by having an uh, L underscore and then the, um, the ID for the image that you uploaded to Cloudinary. So again, I took a 900 by 900 white PNG, uploaded it to Cloudinary, and it spit back this ID of square underscore blah, blah, blah. I got rid of this underscore blah, 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 and I just had square. 
So this is referencing that square in my Cloudinary account. If you were to try to use L square without uploading it using your Cloudinary account here, it would result in a blank image because you haven't uploaded this yet. Now, if you wanted to instead find a 900 by 900 image online and just use that image online, you could do that too. So instead you would do L, uh, it'd be an L fetch underscore square. Okay. But because I'm not fetching it, it's already uploaded. I just have the L underscored. And um, an overlay parameters syntax, you can look it up in cloudinary.com and be able to figure out which one applies to you. All right, so then here is my white square. And so again, if I were to just uh, leave it at that without these parameters, then what I would have is my image and on top of that image would be a white square, which would block my image. Okay, so now we need to manipulate this white square that we placed on top of the image. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing is I, I apply an FL layer apply. This means that I am applying some manipulation to the overlay and not to the image itself. And what am I applying? I'm applying first a radius and I'm curving, I'm rounding out the corners of my progress bar. So what that looks like is here, where you have the roundness of the progress bar. So if I were to have left out this parameter here, if I were to have taken this away, then I just have a square progress bar, which might work for you. All right, then I'm gonna colorize this progress bar. So I'm doing an e-colorize, and I could just put uh, color green or color black, but instead what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually specifying the hex code here. So I'm doing RGB colon and then the hex code of the color that I want to overlay. Okay. Then uh, I'm setting the width and the height of my progress bar. So if I just did width 1 and height 1.0, then that means it's a dimensions of 100%, 100%, which would still result in that white square on top of my image. So I set a height of tiny percentage, just a 4% of the square height. And so that now results in this bar being 4% height of the, of the full image. Okay. So this one, so you can manipulate the height here by changing that h underscore value. If you want a smaller or a thinner progress bar, right, then you can make it, you know, height 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 or something like that. Okay. Right, and then finally, I am setting it to have a gravity of southwest. This is the placement of that progress bar. So here I have the progress bar being shoved into the lower left-hand corner. If I were to have just said west, then this progress bar would be in the middle, starting from the left-hand side. If I had just said south, then it would be center aligned in the middle here, which means I'd have a gap over here and a gap over here, right? I don't want either of that. I want it to have a progress starting from this left-hand side all the way over. So I did a gravity of southwest. And the last thing is I'm setting a crop to scale. So what this is gonna do, it's going to, no matter the height or sorry, no matter the width of your, um, of your image, it's gonna scale to fit the fill that you've set here. Okay, and that's it. So a width of 100% here, right, would fill up the bar all the way. If I had done a width of you know, 0.5, well, that's 50%, which means that the progress bar would be a halfway progress bar. So as you'll see, this is a variable that we're going to set as part of the Glide app. And we'll talk about that next. All right, so how do we get that variable? How do we get it so that the progress bar is going to appear over an image dynamically and that this progress bar is reflected of the percentage complete? Well, as you can see here, I already am pulling the percentage complete of the related items. And so in my data editor, um, under my topics here, Right, I have a relation 
that goes from this topic to my items. And then I have a Boolean in my items that's marking like a checkbox basically to see if it's done or not. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a roll-up of the relation. So here's my relation. I'm doing a roll-up of that relation where I'm gathering um, all of the items that have been removed or all of the items that have been completed. And so it's going to spit back a count that are true, right? So if they check the box, then it's true. And then I'm, doing, I'm getting a count of those. Over here is a total count of how many items are in this relation. So this is another rollup where I'm getting a count of just the card IDs of this relation. This really can be any value um, as long as it's not a conditional, uh, conditional value. So like a static or a unique ID like this or email or something like that. So I'm getting a count of the card IDs. So you can see here that I have nine out of 10. And now it's just a matter of doing the math. So the math column here divides nine into 10, giving me 0.9. And then I have a couple of things here that do the exact same thing. It takes this number um, and multiplies it by 100, right, to get the percentage. And I put the percentage icon, and then I have a template that puts all this together that says nine out of 10 for 90%. This is what I'm displaying in my app uh, for the header of those cards. But this is the value that I'm using as part of the Cloudinary image. As you can see, this value um, would fit in perfectly into this width value here. In my Cloudinary image, I have my template that you saw before, res.cloudinary.com, then my account number, right? Then image fetch, and then I'm filling 900 by 300. Here's my square, layer apply. Here's my rounded corners, colorizing it, so forth. And then the width, I'm including this tag of percent. And the percent is that raw percentage that we see over here, right? Followed by the height of 0 0.04, and then a gravity of southwest, then the scale, and then finally the picture that's applying to my topic image. All right, so the resulting image looks like this. And so when I go ahead and paste this in, okay, then we see that my progress bar and my image is all in one. Now, the only caveat to all of this, and something I'm still trying to work out, is it seems as though when there is zero progress, uh, there is no progress bar, but I found that the image sometimes doesn't appear, and this might have to do with the rounding of the corners. So the solution to this is to have less rounding, I believe. So 18 is the max for this dimension. Um, so if I had set this to slightly less rounding, for example, 10 by 10. You see that this the, it's less rounding on the progress bar here, but this should take care of the image not displaying, or you can get rid of the rounding altogether and just a square progress bar. Right, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.